Our man in Washington will report on the activities of Governor Perpich in the capital city today. Governor Perpich striking. On tonight's local report, some Twin City residents wait word from relatives in hurricane-ravaged Jamaica. St. Paul police are holding a suspect in the murder of a 62-year-old woman. Authorities put the torch to three months' worth of confiscated illegal drugs. And the Met Center is sold out as Prince prepares to begin his first American tour in four years. I'm Colleen Needles. And I'm Dave Moore. The 6 p.m. report is next. Hi, Scott Sandy. Thank Tracy for telling me about Dueling Optical. I took advantage of their two-for-one eyewear sale. I bought a pair of eyeglasses, and they gave me a pair of equal value free. I guess I never realized they were in most Carson stores. Really convenient. Tracy said you were thinking about getting some new glasses. Do it, Scott. Call Dueling Optical right now. You can have them for this weekend. Don't forget about the party. Mess hall in the living room? Don't just clean it. Coit it. Coit, the world's most experienced cleaners of draperies, carpets, and upholstery. Call now and get 25% off all Coit cleaning services, draperies, carpets, and area rugs, and upholstery. All at your convenience, all to your satisfaction, and all 25% off. So next time you're seeing spots, remember, don't just clean it. Coit it. Call Coit now for a free estimate and get 25% off. Coit. When you want it, spotless. Last night's fire at an old Minneapolis apartment building points out a serious problem. Officials say more and more such vacant buildings are burning down, endangering lives and property. It's one story we'll cover tonight. WCCO Television presents Dave Moore, Colleen Needles, Mike Fairborn, and Mark Rosen. This is a 6 p.m. report. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we begin our local report with a storm raging several thousand miles away. Hurricane Gilbert, deemed one of the most dangerous hurricanes in history, a Category 5, is heading for Mexico's resort islands and the Gulf of Mexico. The hurricane, with winds up to 175 miles an hour, has already devastated Jamaica. Officials there call it the worst natural disaster in the nation's modern history. Thousands are homeless, food and water supplies are scarce, phone lines are down. And that is what has some people in Minnesota concerned. They still await word from relatives and friends in Jamaica. Cindy Hilger now joins us with the story of one such family. Cindy? Well, Dave and Colleen, we talked to a woman this afternoon who is from Jamaica. Her entire family still lives there. In fact, four weeks ago, Jean Rayson Locke left her four-year-old son Jason in Jamaica to spend some time with his grandmother. The last time she talked to either of them was Sunday night when the storm first hit. They're in the central island where mudslides and flooding have ravaged the countryside. She's waiting to hear if they are all right. Have someone go in the area, know what's wrong with her, if she's alive, I mean, I'm not sure. My sixth sense tells me that they're okay, but, you know, I'm still a little optimistic. In fact, Jean is trying to figure out a way she can go down there and help clean up and rebuild. I would go right now, right this minute, if I could get there. Mm -hmm. um, with some supplies. I mean, I don't want to go without something, you know, something that can help the people, that can be constructive. Mm -hmm. um, then I would go right away. I have no problems giving up my apartment, my job, whatever it takes, I'll go mm -hmm. and start all over. Jean is trying to set up a fund with the First Bank of St. Paul for financial help and medical supplies. As she said, she'd like to go down there herself to make sure that her son, her mother and eight brothers and sisters are all right. And as I said, she hasn't heard from them since Sunday night, and they are in the central part of the island, which is what they're saying right now has been hit very hard because there are a lot of mudslides mm -hmm. and, and flooding. One of the things that was pointed out on CBS a moment ago, the history of hurricanes such as that has been to dissipate as it hit land. Camille in 69 did not, and that's the greatest fear. Exactly. Now, of course, it'll gain. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you, Cindy. Tonight, police are holding a suspect in the murder of a St. Paul woman. 62-year-old Marilyn Saunders was found dead in her home Sunday night. She had been stabbed to death. 
Last night, a 63-year-old man turned himself into police. Authorities say he may be charged sometime tomorrow. Today, St. Paul police got rid of the illegal drugs they've been confiscating over the past three months. The police department borrowed the furnaces at the North Star Steel Company for the occasion. Authorities say they aren't sure just how much was burned today, but it cons consisted primarily of marijuana and some other drugs. Last night, a fire gutted a vacant, boarded-up apartment complex in downtown Minneapolis. The fire at the Harvard Chambers on South 10th Street took half the city's on-duty firefighters to control. Today, the Minneapolis Fire Chief said there have been a dozen such fires in vacant or condemned buildings since August 1st. As Dave Nimmer reports, it's a growing problem. This building was condemned, vacant since December. But somebody got in early last evening and deliberately started the fire. There were traces of a flammable liquid and even a trail of toilet paper used as a wick. These fires are dangerous, three firefighters injured last night, and expensive to put out. And some are more threatening than this one. With the majority of vacant uh, buildings that we've had recently, uh, <clears throat> it has extended to the buildings on each side, which most frequently are occupied. And then we've got a, a bigger problem in that we have three buildings of which two are occupied. The problem, says the chief, is too many vacant buildings, dwellings, a hot, dry know, summer, and transients are homeless people looking for an empty room. There are 250 buildings in the city condemned but not torn down. Sometimes that takes more than a year. Council member Sander Hillary, along with the deputy building inspector, thinks a condemned building should come down as soon as someone tampers with it. The boards coming off means that people are trying to get in there. And people trying to get in there set fires. We know that happens without a doubt. This building is scheduled for demolition tomorrow. The problem is there are a dozen others in the city almost like it, still standing. And that's what troubles the city's fire department. Dave Nimmer, WCCO Television News, Minneapolis. The most conspicuous consequence of last night's fire was the unusually thick black smoke. Firefighters say that was caused by burning roof material. Minnesota rock star Prince plays to a hometown audience tonight. His concert at the Met Center will open his first U.S. tour in four years. To mark the occasion, St. Paul radio station KMAP has been playing nothing but Prince music this afternoon and will continue for a total of 12 hours. Prince's American tour follows a European tour that began in Paris last July. Prince will appear again tomorrow night at the Met Center before heading for shows in Chicago and Cincinnati. Got a funny way of stopping the juice. Being good neighbors, we dropped by our competitors for breakfast. We noticed right away that the Belgian waffles we serve at Perkins are bigger and fluffier than theirs. Our omelets are stuffed inside and out, too. Theirs weren't. We serve unlimited cups of delicious coffee. They don't do that, either. So, guys, let's get together again. But please, can we do it at our place? And now, for a limited time, try our three-egg ham and cheese omelet with buttermilk pancakes or toast for only $2.99. Only at Perkins. If your car's not starting, just bring it to the engine performance experts at Precision Tune. We do more than fix your car. We guarantee it. Where? 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 Nexus. Where did you it's get in salon. that hair? <laughs> Only in salons. Excuse me if I stare. Where? Nexus. Where? Nexus. Where did Nexus. you get that? Only in salons. Ooh, Nexus. Ooh, Nexus. Nexus products. Where you go for beautiful hair. It's time. Come drive a Mazda. It's year-end clearance time. Time to get the deal of the year on a new Mazda. And factory-to-dealer cash incentives can add hundreds to your savings on a Mazda truck. It's time. Time to clear out all the 88s. Mazda's year-end clearance time. Come drive a Mazda. Do it now. See your Mazda dealer in Richfield, Brooklyn Center, White Bear, St. Paul, and Minnetonka. Tonight, for the first time, Wisconsin residents are playing the lottery. The state's new lottery game began today at noon. 
In Hudson, people lined up for the chance to be among the first to play. Top prize in the lottery is a million dollars. The money generated by ticket sales will be used for tax relief. Many of those buying tickets today in Hudson, we're told, were Minnesotans. And of course, Minnesota voters will consider a lottery amendment to the state constitution on the November ballot. The state of Minnesota is joining forces with the federal government to promote aviation safety. Late this afternoon in Washington, Governor Rudy Perpich and the chief of the Federal Aviation Administration announced the creation of the FAA-Minnesota Partnership. It's described as an 18-month-long program to improve safety in both commercial and private aviation. Skip Losher has more on the story. What better place to do cold weather research than Minnesota? And the FAA now plans to use state facilities in Monticello and International Falls to find better ways of de-icing and defrosting airplanes and to improve traction on airport runways and taxiways. Candidates for the FAA's Air Traffic Control Academy in Oklahoma will be pre-qualified by Minnesota's Community College and Votech systems, which will be used for the first time in the nation to coordinate a statewide program to train prospective controllers. And the FAA will also use the University of Minnesota's Supercomputer Center to run complex aviation simulations. This first ever partnership between the FAA and any state was announced this afternoon during a Capitol Hill reception hosted by Northwest Airlines. I don't think there's any more money coming from the feds. This will be, uh, we're still funding our community colleges and technical institutes uh, by the state of Minnesota. FAA Administrator Alan McCarter isn't sure how much of a monetary harvest Minnesota will reap, but he did say... Sure, some of that money then will come into the state for specific projects. Absolutely, absolutely. Despite that, Representative Jim Oberstar, who chairs the House subcommittee which oversees the FAA, says he will not stop pressing for better safety. There will be no tolerance on my part of uh, FAA's shortcomings in the safety issues. Skip Losher, CCO News, Washington. The state and the FAA will hold meetings around Minnesota to learn the concerns of commercial airline passengers. We have a new effort tonight to block a proposed trash transfer station, which is been proposed for Bloomington. On Monday, Bloomington officials approved the site at 1496th Street. Trash would be loaded onto trucks there for shipment to the new garbage burner plant in downtown Minneapolis. But this afternoon, a coalition of 20 Bloomington businesses filed a lawsuit against the plan. The coalition claims the proposed location is too small, too heavily populated with businesses to handle additional traffic from trash trucks. Don't hold your breath, but we are told there is a possibility of rain here tomorrow afternoon. Mike Fairborn with the forecast in just a moment. Now there's a super fresh gas that cleans your carburetor and fuel injectors and intake manifold and intake valves. Cleans your whole fuel system. SA Premium with Super Injector Guard Plus. If you thought all gas was the same, this should clear things up. Super America Gas. It's super fresh and it's super clean. I'm not a hardware person. But when I walk into Hardware Hank and say I need a couple of those swivel deals, they know what I'm talking about. They even showed me how the swivel deals attach to those little uh, clamp things. At Hardware Hank, they speak my language. And we're speaking your language during Hardware Hank's autumn sale with American Air Furnace Filters, the Reliance Water Heater, and the Chicago Specialty Shower Head. You've got a lot more going for you with Hank. Hardware Hank. Have a seat. I wonder who will be in the presentation. Her? Who? Who knows you? Dayton's knows the importance of presentation. Maybe them. Tell me who knows you. That's why we have the looks that present you at your best. I'm not nervous. Dayton's knows you. They'll see you now. Do I look okay? Are you kidding? Nobody knows you better. I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl. And this is my other brother Daryl. These men tie people up and carry them off. And we'll add you to Kingdom Come. Very tasteful. We had to clean out three septic tanks to get it. Ooh. They got some crazy little women there. <laughs> what is it? Guarantees male children. American history for 200. If it's laughter, you're after. We're it. It's Newhart. New, new, Newhart. Newhart. Mm -hmm. Newhart. Premiering October 3rd on Channel 4. 
all of a sudden we're not so anxious to know what's going to happen here tomorrow, but as what's going to be happening in Gilbert Texas is kind of overshadowing uh, everything, sure uh, really is. And I think the reason, not only because it's a Category 5 and that doesn't happen very often, but just because it is so huge. I mean, it's a big hurricane. You ever wanted to fly into the eye of one of those? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what these folks are doing, and that's part of the uh, hurricane uh, reconnaissance missions that they do fly to find out a lot of information about the hurricanes. And one of the things that they found last night as they flew in to the eye of the hurricane, and there it is, you can kind of see the big hole in the sky, is that the central pressure had dropped to 26.28 inches. That is the lowest barometric pressure of any Atlantic hurricane or hurricane that started in the Atlantic. That includes all of those then in the Caribbean and also all those uh, in the... Uh, in the Gulf of Mexico as well. Well, Hurricane Gilbert right now, the winds have dropped to 140 miles an hour, still moving west-northwest around 15. And this is the movement in the last 24 hours from just south of the western tip of Cuba up to just on the northern coast now of Yucatan, Mexico. Concerns are that it's going to move out into the open Gulf again in the next couple of hours, and so they've already issued a watch from Port, Ar Port Arthur, Texas, all the way down to Brownsville, Texas. It's a hurricane watch, not a warning, but that's where they're thinking right now that this hurricane may affect the U.S. if indeed it continues on the predicted paths, and those things are very variable. We'll talk about that a little bit tonight. You can see on the satellite the immense cloud shield associated with it. Some clouds already coming up into the southern coast of the United States. They extend all the way down into the northern part of uh, South America. America, and right now it's centered just over the tip of Yucatan in Mexico. Well, uh, a lot of things are going to happen over the next 24 hours and we'll certainly keep you appraised of it. Right now in the Twin Cities, it's been a very pleasant day. Uh, Pete Newswanger shot this uh, film over around the conservatory in St. Paul and it was a gorgeous day with the temperatures warming back up into the 70s. Our weather guide uh, today, uh, we did manage to make it to 74 degrees after an overnight low of 48, no rainfall, sunrise and sunset there for today, 6.50 this morning and 7.27 tonight. The uh, satellite picture shows that we have some changes coming up, though. We've been watching clouds and moisture work their way up out of the south, spreading across the eastern part of North and South Dakota into the western part of the state. We'll be clouding up here in the Twin Cities within the next hour or so. Some of the northern parts of the Twin Cities may already have had some clouds move in over the top of them. In the meantime, uh, take a look at what we're looking at for uh, moisture for tomorrow. So this is the uh, rainfall associated with the cloud pattern already into the eastern part of South Dakota as that spreads eastward. A good chance of seeing some shower activity here by late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night sometime. And uh, in the meantime, much of the eastern part of the country is going to be sunny. The western part of the country is going to be sunny, and our temperatures are going to stay just about the same. We should peak out somewhere around 70 degrees, but we're certainly going to be cloudier tomorrow than we have been over the last couple of days here in the Twin Cities at least. Our current conditions, we're cloudy outside right now. The temperature is 70 degrees, humidity 26 percent, northeast winds at 12, a dew point of 34, and the barometer is 3018, and it's rising our forecast for tonight. Get out and enjoy it. We'll have increasing clouds, a low of around 55, not as cool as we have been. Northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Maybe an umbrella or a rain jacket for the kids tomorrow as you send them out to school. Mostly cloudy with a chance of some afternoon showers, a high of around 70. East winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tomorrow night, still cloudy with a chance of some showers. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm with a low of 57. And for Friday, we're going to be cloudy and breezy, still with some lingering showers and thunderstorms around, a high of 67 degrees. The extended outlook then clears us up for the weekend and begins to warm us back up as well. We'll be partly cloudy with high temperatures in the 80s, overnight lows in the 50s, and we'll be bringing you updates on Gilbert throughout the evening. And let's Very hope good. we get a little bit of rain here tomorrow. We yeah, it'd be nice, it. wouldn't it? Yeah, it sure yeah. would. Thanks. Apparently, Doug Martin felt he was missing out on a lot of fun, so he became a Viking again today. Mark Rosen will report his story in a moment. Your Jeep Eagle dealer answers the question, what is an eagle? How fast do eagles fly? What do eagles share? Now, where do they nest? Just look up, America. See your great northern Jeep Eagle dealers, where you can expect the best. In Wix Sofa Free Love Seat Sale, you get a free love seat with your choice of a sofa. Three decorator styles to choose from. In intriguing textures, inviting colors, room brightening patterns. Buy the sofa for only $699.98, get the $599.98 love seat free. No payments of finance charges for 90 days when you use or open a Wix charge. Quality made affordable. 
by Wicks Furniture. Our once-in-a-lifetime sale continues at Towsley Ford. And Towsley Subaru. Factory incentives and customer cash back up to $3,000 allow us to sell Subarus up to $5,000 off and register to win a new Subaru given away exclusively by Towsley Subaru. Towsley customers drive hundreds of miles to buy America's best-selling truck as low as $69.95. Our goal is to price every car and truck from $300 to $800 less than any other dealer for the same exact model at Towsley Ford. And Towsley Subaru, White, White Bear, Bear Lake. Lake. If you're a temporary employee, this is the hottest ticket in town. Announcing Dolphin Temporary Services, ticket to Paradise Giveaway. You could win a trip for two to fabulous Sydney, Australia. Or use of a new Dodge Caravan for a year. Or $1,000 cash. So register with Dolphin today. Come November 30th, you just may hold a ticket to paradise. Mark Rosen's just returned from the Vikings Eden Prairie training camp. The questions loom now, when will Doug Martin be ready to play and who sits down when he is? Well, Doug Martin feels he could play a little bit against the Chicago Bears this weekend. Uh, yes, right. he missed training camp, but at his position, he said it's more like a street fight <laughs> than anything else, and that's what he's expecting, certainly, on Sunday. As far as who, who would be sat down, if I were William Gay, I would be a little bit nervous tonight. Uh, Doug Martin's long holdout is over. Uh, the Vikings signed the veteran defensive end to a series of one-year contracts that will ensure Martin will finish his career with Minnesota. Martin was the Vikings' number one draft choice in 1980 and despite some injury problems, has been a fixture on the defensive line. Rookie Al Noga replaced Martin at that spot without success. Veterans such as Bubba Baker and William Gay have also filled in. But the Viking players are thrilled Martin is back and the feeling is mutual. Oh, it's great to be back. Um, I'm just glad it's over with. And uh, I've, been, I've been wanting to play for the last two months now. I'm, I'm just glad it's over with and I can get back out on the field and play, you know, start my career over again. Call it the showdown in Soldier Field. Sounds like a little like a boxing match, doesn't it? Well, it may develop that way when the Vikings travel to Chicago to meet the Bears on Sunday. A defensive end, Richard Dent, will meet with Commissioner Pete Rozelle on Friday to discuss his drug testing program. But he had a word or two about the upcoming fracas. Tough guys, you know. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. I think uh, this game will put us on the roll that we need to be on. I think if we can beat these guys, uh, should set us straight, you know, for the next uh, four or five games into the season. Of course, the game will be broadcast here on Channel 4 beginning at noon on Sunday, and the Vikings tonight will have all those scoops following the Sunday 10 p.m. report. Fred Lynn will be eligible for the postseason if the Tigers get that far. Lynn joined the Tigers 10 minutes after midnight, September the 1st, 10 minutes after playoff rosters were supposed to be frozen. But baseball commissioner Peter Uberoth has decided to make an exception. Of course, this whole story may be, may be moot, however. Detroit has fallen four and a half games out in the AL East. Well, the Twins' playoff hopes are also a memory. Their magic number fell to seven last night despite a late-inning rally in Seattle. The Twins did not score their first run until Jim Dwyer drove in Mark Davidson in the top of the ninth. They won the game a few minutes later on Tommy Hur's chopper. The Mariners' only play was to first, allowing Al Newman to score and allowing the Twins to win the game 2-1 to one with one inning of offense. Now tonight the Twins will go with Fred Tolliver, who's coming off that one hitter in Chicago. The Mariners will counter with Mark Langston, their ace, at 11 and 11. Last night was a grand night for grand slams in the majors. Hubie Brooks hit one in Montreal. Damon Berryhill hit one for the Cubs in Philadelphia. The Blue Jays' Jesse Barfield hit one in Toronto. And the Red Sox' Jim Rice hit one in Boston. The eighth grand slam of his career, the Major League's fourth of the night. And if you're wondering, this Grand Slam of Grand Slams ties the Major League record for most in one night. Dave Moore knew that. With a pick six carryover of $122,000, you can bet a few extra people went out to the track today. The first race of the day wasn't part of the pick six, but it had a nice payoff of its own. Number seven, Mini Hacha, beat number six, Sweet Bod, by a nose and paid $1,440. The first exactus, seven and six, paid $108. But the big payoff is still to come. If you have a few friends out there involved in that pick six, well, $403,000 are in the pick six pool. We'll tell you if anyone won it tonight at 10. And here's the Wayne Gretzky update for Wednesday, September 14th. The Los Angeles Herald Examiner reports today that Gretzky has an early retirement clause in his contract, allowing him to walk away at any time during the next eight years. This is only news in L.A., however. Gretzky had the same kind of contract in Edmonton. Another superstar in Los Angeles, another update every day 
involving Wayne Gretzky <laughs> making the big news out there. Of course, we all know he'll be shot in eight years. And <laughs> I don't mean... Not, you know, yeah, I, 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 I can yeah. take it away. Get me out of here. All right. <laughs> Today, the action centered on a lake in Wisconsin as a movie crew continued work there on a film being shot entirely in the area. The story in a moment. This month, we have a couple hundred more reasons for you to come up and see us at Elk River Ford. We just purchased the inventory from another store, and on top of that, we have some major construction going on up here, and we just plain have cars and trucks running out of our ears. Selection, price, financing rates, and a huge big city inventory at a country buy. We have them all at the only Ford dealer in the Twin Cities with parts and service till 1.30 in the morning. Elk River Ford Mercury, just past Anoka on Highway 10. You know we're going to save you some money. Shop the low prices sale at Menards and get ready for winter. Here's the last storm and screen door you'll ever have to buy. The Forever Door by Emco. It's guaranteed for as long as you own your home. Now just $189. Manville fiberglass insulation is on sale too with a craft vapor barrier back. Plus there's a dollar per roll mail-in rebate. Your cost is just $4.88 per roll. Hurry in to save this week at Menards. We're helping you build America's heartland at Menards. You can fold a flag, you can fold a chair, but nobody folds a pita quite like Baker Square. Try the stir-fry shrimp pita, the chicken fajita pita, or the Philly beef pita. You can fold a plane, you can fold a tie, you can fold our pita, but you have to slice our pie. Baker Square, come for the food and stay for the pie. I'm ready, Martha. Oh, it's four in the morning. Your Toyota dealer's holding a huge year-end clearance, and everybody can't wait to get in because they don't want to miss the best deals of the year. The 88s have got to go before the 89s arrive, so save over $1,000 on factory options. Then make your best deal of the year from a great selection. I'm not letting anybody else get the one I want. Toyota dealer's year-end clearance. Come in now. Harold? Harold? Wheel of Fortune is traveling to the Big Apple, and you can be a part of the extravaganza. Watch to win starting September 12th. Wheel of Fortune, weeknights on Channel 4. This 36-year-old Twin Cities woman today underwent major surgery, using only her mind to block the pain. I'm Mike Strand. We'll follow the amazing story of Sherry Martin, whose doctors performed a hysterectomy while she attempted to remain conscious and without pain under hypnosis. That's tonight on the 10 p.m. report. Local water skiers went around a Wisconsin lake one more time for the cameras today as a CBS movie crew put the finishing touches on a scene for a new film. The crew spent the morning shooting close-ups of skiers on Deer Lake near St. Croix Falls for the upcoming movie, The Comeback, starring Robert Urich. Urich plays a former U of M football star who was injured in a skiing accident. Today, local stand-ins or ski-ins staged the last of the water scenes. The Comeback will be broadcast sometime in November. That's tonight's 6 p.m. report. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everyone.